All right, so this is the final video for this part. So we're going to be talking about some additional arthropods, some bonus arthropods, if you will, um, Kalimbala and roly polies. So um, Kalimbala, you probably have never heard of. They're really tiny. However, roly polies, you probably know what they are. You've probably grown up around them. Um, at least I did. Um, so roly polies, some people call them wood lice, some people call them pill bugs. Um, they're not insects. Um, however, like I said earlier, you will probably come into contact with them. So it's important you know how to identify them. So the defining features of roly polies are their body shape, which basically looks like a pill, which is why they're called pill bugs, and their ability to roll up in a ball as a form of defense. So here is a roly poly that is spread out. You can see its body looks pretty much like a pill. And then here's a roly poly that is curled in. So you can see it's not an insect because it does not have three body parts. And it also has way more than six legs. So the next type of arthropod is a Kalimbala, which is also called a springtail. They actually used to be classified as insects. However, they're not anymore. And this is because they have internal mouth parts and insects have external mouth parts as we learned earlier. So they're really tiny. They're about the size of an ant. They're characterized by having this tail like appendage on the tip of their abdomen known as the furcula. And they typically appear gray or clear in color. And the way that you'll probably be able to recognize them the best is by their body shape, which is long and kind of like a bean. And um, they have pretty thick antennae. So here's what it looks like. You can see it's kind of long and bean-like. It's a little bit of like a brownish, clearish color. It's got these thick antennae. And again, here, um, you can see this one's more of like clear, but again, the same pretty much body shape and these antennae. So it should be noted that several of these insect orders might be confused for each other. So um, we will be putting out a guide about how to tell um, some orders apart that look pretty similar. So if you are confused about, um, say, like, you think a hemipteran might be a coleopteran, um, you can look at this guide and it will tell you how to tell the two apart. Right, so the last thing we have to do is this exercise. So for each of the nine insect orders and the two additional arthropods we discussed, really polies and columbula, make a list of the insects that are in them um, and the distinguishing features. So for example, um, for the order coleoptera, that includes beetles. The defining feature of beetles are their elytra, which are their hardened forewings. So you'll want to do this for all nine insect orders, plus roly polies and um, Kalimbala, aka springtails. And then after you do this, maybe put it on a little flashcard, make a note in your phone, um, and then walk around your neighborhood and see if you can identify any arthropods that you see to their order based on this information.